We give all praises and glory to our highest power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers, who we dearly love, and salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, week in and week out. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting his true doctrine. All praises and glory is due. You have to realize that it is a beautiful thing to believe in our Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. It's a gift. Because you have true believers, right? And you have unbelievers. So, count that a blessing that the Most High put the Spirit in you to believe in Him the correct way. That's why you have a true doctrine and you have a false doctrine. Count that to be a blessing that the Most High put the Spirit in you. Right? First and foremost, if you're a Hebrew Israelite, not a Hebrew Edomite, a Hebrew Israelite, first and foremost, you must be grateful to know that you believe in our highest power, the true doctrine that He placed into your mind. Right? Into your heart, which is your mind. All right. So the first scripture I want to bring out is in Psalms 14. Right? To the chief musician, a psalm of David, a f the fool have said in his heart, there is no power. There's no Yahweh. Right? They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. You see, things are catching up now, I tell you. Things are catching up now. It's only a matter of time. The Most High is the creator of time. He starts time when he's ready. And he stops times when he's ready. And you're going to say that there's no God? You're considered as a fool. You are considered as a fool according to the scriptures. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God, there is no power. Sometimes I have to sit and fathom. I try to understand how could you sit there and think of something great and you think you can overpower that kind of power. Can you imagine? You must be a fool to think that. Right? Right? You must be a fool. All right, the next one. Proverbs. Proverbs 1, verse 5. <clears throat> a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. That's why it has to be a gift. The gift, the most has to put that gift in you to understand, to interpret, interpret 
Eh? So like here, the most high who gives the increase. And you're going to think that there is no power. All right. People are dying by the second. But that is still foolish because the Most High gives a life and he takes a life. How could you turn and say that there's no God? There's no power. Because there's no you're not wise. There's no wisdom in you. You don't fear the power. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahushai Bahasham Rakakudash, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Back to this fool again. A fool in his heart said, There's no God. Everybody wants to rally around now to be volunteers to try to put down this coronavirus situation to, to, to try to minimize the, uh, the, the, the effect, what is, what is happening, what is the impact that it's creating. They want to minimize it, volunteers, but they don't know everything is of the Lord. If, thing is, if this is true, <clears throat> if this virus is true or not. You hear that word? Trick bag. I used to love hearing brothers talk about that, wor that, that, that word. I can't remember where I first heard it from. It was from the elders or brothers. Because I've learned so much from my elders. I've learned so much from my brothers. That goes out on the highways and the byways. And that word trick bag. I love that word trick bag. All right? It's like a magician, you know, they open up the bag and you say, put your hand in and dip, you know, you know, lucky dip. You remember that lucky dip? To see if it's lucky, you get the lucky number out. Eh? And it's not such thing as lucky anyway, there's not such thing as luck. So it's like a trick, a musician deals with, uh, 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 uh so like here. Oh, what's the thing? It just slipped me, not musician. <laughs> um... Oh shit, it slipped me. Eh? So lucky, like right? A man that performs tricks. Yeah? All right? It's all deception anyway. Open up his bag, dip your hand in, and pull out by luck. There's no such thing as luck. There's no such thing as luck. There's not such, such thing as bad luck. Yeah? Everything is of the most high. Man's goings are of the most high. Every human being under the sun, from the time they go to sleep, from the time they wake up, it's of the most high. Yeah? It's of the most high. So seven, Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashem is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's all you have to do, you know. It's as simple and plain. To be wise, you have to acknowledge that there is a power, a higher power. And to acknowledge that there's a higher power, you have to acknowledge again. That there must be a name to this high, high power. And his name is Yahweh. And his son is Yahweh Shai. Alright. So the Most High is in control of everything. But you know what's going to happen? You think that there's no power? Because of pride? Or whatever's in your mind. But one day... Every single knee is going to bow. Let me get that beautiful verse. Let me get that sweet, sweet, beautiful verse. Because I can't wait to bow to the Lord in perfection. 
in a perfect body. If I am chosen, if we are chosen, you think bowing to the Lord now is beautiful? You who wait until you get, get into the kingdom and when you bow to the Lord, you're going to see that power, that, that, that generated power in you. When you bow to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Philippians 2 and 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself. It's all about being humble, you know. Humble yourself as a man, humble yourself as a woman, humble yourself as a, as a creature to know that it's not of yourself. Yes? Order, order, order. There's an order. You didn't just come appear in this earth. Right? This defiled earth. You didn't disappear like that out of the blue. The most I put you here. Whether it's for good or whether it's for bad. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself. You know who humbled himself as a man. You know. And became obedient unto death. You know. You know who we're talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Right? Even the death of the cross. You can't get it more simple than that. You cannot get it more simple than that. Who is the most humble? Who is the most obedient? Who went through death? Who went on the cross? How simple it can, can it be? Yeah, you hear about it. But do you acknowledge it? Do you acknowledge that? Wherefore, Yahweh, our power, also hi have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above all every name you remember the order Yahweh Yahweh Shai our highest power has given that name a special name that is his son which is above every name that name that Philippians 2 verse 10 that at the name of Yahawashai HaMashiach every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and, and that every tongue should confess that Yahawashai HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of our power, our highest power, highest power, our power, the Lord Yahweh Baasham Yahushai. So you continue to be a fool, okay? I didn't say that, the scripture said that. Continue to be a fool, all right? Because a fool saith in his heart, there is no God, there is no power. And it says, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the Lord, right? It's a fearful thing. But they don't fear. They don't know who to fear. They just fear themselves. How could you fear yourself? Right? Above the highest power that made you. You must fear what the Most High could do unto you. The Most High gives a life, the Most High takes a life. 
All right. So that's all I wanted to talk about. All right. It's just a quick one, you know, you know, meditating. And we always meditate this. That there is a high, 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 high power. The highest of the highest. And his name is Yahweh. All right. So you continue to believe that just thinking, wow, yeah, there's a power out there. Yeah, there's some, there's some power. Don't take it that light, yeah? Acknowledge that power and serve that power. Because one day, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Sham Yahushai is Lord. All right? Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.